Prototypes are typically expensive, especially when compared to the cost of a finished product. Each prototype is a unique piece and requires a custom approach. Building one or two items of anything in general is pricey. But when you build prototypes, you also need to figure out how to do so. You're building something unique that didn't exist before, so there is no manual or an instruction on how to do so. In addition to that, you'll need a team of experienced professionals, expensive equipment and materials. However, there are still ways how you can reduce the cost of your prototype, and today we are going to talk about seven of them. Number one, only do what is required to achieve the goal of your prototype. If you only need a Ford for your testing, don't build a Mercedes. Number two, do not start building another prototype until you've tested and evaluated your previous one and then incorporated the design modifications. Number three, do not try to tackle both electrical and mechanical systems at once. If your product has an electrical component in it, work on it first. The mechanical ones would typically be much easier and less expensive to modify. Number four, if your product is huge, start with a scaled down prototype. It will cost significantly less, but will still provide useful data. Number five, use less expensive materials where possible, especially in the beginning. Let's say your product is designed to be metal, try using plastic if possible to save cost on the materials and speed up the production process. Number six, use more automated equipment such as 3D printers and CNC mills, not only to cut the cost of the production process, but also to save on the labor required to make your prototype. Number seven, if at all possible, use off-the-shelf components. As opposed to starting from the ground up and making your custom parts, see if you can find an existing product, disassemble it and use the parts from it. Use your ingenuity and good luck prototyping.